Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks again for joining me at another video. It's coming to you a little sooner than I thought, but the good people at Ranvu saw the video that I made on the Ice 3, and they liked it so much they decided to send me another product to show you guys. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a card up here in the corner so you can go check that out. And currently, right now, there's an additional sale on that product for an additional $20 off. So if you watch my video and you click the link in the description as well as a coupon code, you can combine that coupon code, which is 10% off with that $20 off and it'll save you about 50 bucks or so. But let's talk about why we're here today. So this is the Ranvu neck fan. The current price on this is 70 bucks. They're having a sale on that as well. So I'm going to put my link down in the description along with the 10% off coupon code on that and you can also use those as combined. But let's get right into it. So here we have the box. I've had this for a few days. I haven't opened it. I've been waiting to do this review so uh, today's my opportunity. So I haven't even opened this box so you're going to get the first impressions as I get them too. So you have the company branding right here, Ranvu. Pure Cool Me at the bottom. On the back side you have QR codes. Um, for their transparency. Uh, you have some, some specifications, which I'll get into in a second here. Uh, the box is nice and red. You guys know me, I like a lot of red. Uh, but like I said in my last video, presentation's not, presentation's secondary to me. Product quality is always gonna be first. All right, so before I open the box, let me get into some quick features. Total weight on the neck fan is gonna be 200 grams. It's got a 4,000 milliamp lithium battery that provides fast charging via the USB-C cable. It's got a maximum runtime of 22 hours, that's in the slowest speed, 15 hours in the middle speed, and eight hours on the highest speed. It's got dual brushless motors that spin at 6,300 RPMs. And they also won the 2023 Global Good Design Award for this particular product. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna grab this boxing knife right here. This is one that I made. I call this Lava Flow. It's a straight razor. If you guys haven't seen the video, it's probably because there's not one. Uh, but this knife is available for purchase. If you're interested, hit me up. So, bladeless neck fan. So there are blades in here, but they're not your conventional fan blades. So you don't you won't get that baffling noise. Um, it'll be a lot more uh, smooth, kind of uh, less turbulent type of airflow. Like the red, of course. Let's pull out the center piece. So in here you got you got a quick start guide. Basically, it's one. A uh, button that does everything with the charging port and then in here you have your more detailed manual and your USB charging cable uh, USB A on one end and USB type C on the other end uh, just a quick uh, note white is the only color available at the moment Oh wow, this thing is super light. Super light. Um, definitely feels better than the uh, cheap one that I had. So I expect this one to perform much better. Has a very modern design. You have the brushless, bladeless fan. One on one side and one on the other side. That's going to intake all the air. And you have all the air vents right here that are going to blow up behind your ears, uh, side of your neck, all that kind of stuff to make you feel nice and cool when it's real hot outside. Flexibility, this, so there's actual hinge in here. This will fit a gigantic neck. Virtually any size neck, this will fit. Uh, there's a hinge, this is rubber coated right here. So it'll never wear out. The hinge will stay in one place. So that's pretty cool because the other one was just flexible. It didn't actually have a functioning hinge. And again, it, it adjusts on both sides to fit any size neck. 
You could be a large person, you could be a small person. Doesn't make a difference. It's going to fit 100%. Let me grab the Ice 3 and we'll do a side by side comparison. So here we got them both. Much smaller form factor. Uh, and there's an obvious reason for that. You know, more technology going into the Ice 3 than this particular fan. As far as the, the, the next size goes, you're looking at, actually this can go a lot smaller. <laughs> I mean, it can fit a kid, but it can also go a lot bigger. So fully extended and fully extended. You got, I mean, this will go, I don't want to, I don't want to break it and stretch it too much, but you're probably talking this will go at least an inch more. Uh, so this, this definitely has a wider range. It might even go more than that. Here you have your charging, or I'm sorry, your, uh, power button. That's also your mode button and your USB charging slot. One button pushes on. It's automatically on low. I can feel the breeze right now. Next button push. I can feel more breeze. And the third button, the high speed. You got a lot of you got a lot of wind coming out of here. And it's cool. It's actually cooler. It's cooler than the ambient air. I'm not exactly sure how that's doing that. But I can feel a I can feel a difference between the ambient temperature of my room versus this fan. This fan's blowing cold air. And right now, the ambient temperature, I would say, probably in my house is probably about 75 degrees. It's really not loud. It's, it's not any louder than the Ice 3. All right, so I'm going to pause the video so I can put this on so you can see how it looks and uh, hear what it sounds like, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Be right back. All right, so we're back in with my ugly mug and a little bit less uh, on top. Today's pretty warm, so... It's a good time to try this thing. So right now, let's go ahead and turn it on. It's real quiet. That's really quiet. So I'm assuming the first mode is the low speed. That's a little bit louder. That's actually nice and cool. That's, a, that's quite a bit of breeze. And that's the high mode. It's quite a bit louder than the Ice 3. That feels really nice. It is quite a bit louder than the Ice 3 at full blast. Actually, let me do a direct comparison. So that just turns it off. So four button presses and it shuts the device off. Let me turn on the Ice. I got it fully charged. I'll let it boot up. And I'm going to turn this fan all the way up. Okay, now, no, they're actually about the same. It just sounded louder when it was next to my ears. Yeah, I, I would say that they're they're real close to the same noise level. Um, as far as as far as you know wind goes or airflow these are a little bit stronger for sure definitely stronger Okay, enough looking at this ugly mug. I'm going to turn it back around and give you the thoughts and compare the differences between the two. All right, so we're back in. So just to give you guys a quick comparison between the two, what you're going to get from this is not what you're going to get from this at all. This is a simple neck fan, so it's just going to blow air. It's going to circulate air around your face and around your ears. Not really your face, but around your neck and around your ears. 
so if you're not looking for something that's going to be a cooling effect uh, as far as like touch cooling uh, and you want something that's just going to you know circulate air around you and if you're sweating it's definitely going to help you feel cooler uh, then then this is going to be what you're going to want uh, if you want something that's going to cool you down uh, like putting a, a ice pack on your neck and also this has a heating function that that's where this one's going to help you um, i would compare this compare these two to a single engine passenger airplane to a multi-passenger commercial jumbo jet in first class this will get you from point A to point B. This will get you to, from point A to point B just a lot more comfortable. Uh, again, build quality on both of these are really nice. Uh, this one is rated for sweat and light water resistance. Do not, do not take this out in the rain, um, but it is rated for some water, some moisture protection. Uh, this one is also a lot lighter than this one. so. Uh, and it's also a lot thinner around the neck area, so you're going to have greater mobility. You're going to feel it a lot less. Uh, so there's pros and cons with both of them. They're both really good products, um, as far as I can tell for this one. This one I've been using for the past uh, two weeks, or a week and a half or two weeks, and it's it's been performing great. Uh, this one I will use. If not, I will let my wife use it, and she will report back to me, and we'll do a follow-up video later on. Um, I'll test this out, um, and by the end of next summertime, if this one went kaput on me like the other one did, then I'll let y'all know. But I doubt this one's going to do that, just because it's better quality. I can already feel it uh, in the plastics and in the design. It's just a much better quality. So like I said, I'm going to put the link down in the description for this one with the coupon code. If you want the other one, go check out this video for this one. Uh, and the link and the coupon will both be down in that video description below. So until next time, I still plan on making a video for y'all next week. Uh, that's going to be more about uh, um, blacksmithing and different type of tools with that. And also uh, touching on something that's that I, I've been needing to talk about for the past couple months. So anyway, y'all, thanks again for joining me. Uh, this video was nice and short and sweet. So I hope you all enjoy it. And if you did. Don't hesitate to hit the like button, and if you feel so inclined, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, like I said, this video is sponsored by them, and with my coupon code, if you click that link, I get a little kickback from that, so uh, that would help me out a whole bunch. All right, y'all, until next time, take care, and I'll see you around soon.